I'm Ted DeHass, owner of Windy Hill Farm. Welcome to our YouTube channel, The Handy Horseman. Our subject today is going to be on horsemanship attitude. For you to succeed with your horse and to receive the pleasure and the reward that is coming to you, you've got to have the right attitude. Well, as I spoke in our last video, it starts right here in your heart. It truly does. And that's something that came to me later in life, where, you know, years ago I didn't quite understand that like I do now. And I think through years of just seeing successes and failures and, and, and understanding what made a horse really good what made him really bad, I found out that it's a lot to do with the people that are handling them. And so here at Windy Hill Farm, I can tell you that from the people that clean the stalls, do the feeding, riding, conditioning, doesn't matter what you do, we all share the same attitude. And, uh, and that attitude is one that you know, we approach this like a student. We, we respect the horses. We love the horses. We enjoy what we do. Um, we provide them leadership. Uh, so, you, you, you can't beat goodness into them. Not going to happen. You've got to draw the goodness out of them. Well, therein lies the challenge. Therein lies your obstacle where a lot of folks don't get that. I don't know why it is but a lot of folks think forcefulness is the answer. And how I can describe it is you, you don't want that horse to respond to you in a way where he is avoiding fear or he's avoiding pain. So if I do something, say if I take a whip and move him along and it hurts and he moves away from that, well, he's moving away from pain. Well, I would never trust a horse that has been trained forcefully or through pain because he's not connected with you. He's not thinking like we're thinking. And what I've noticed is if that's the case, if he's been trained that way through force and pain, you might have to take a bigger club to the barn with you every day. And it gets to the point where you need a pretty big club. And there's no future in that. So what we want is for him to move over or to move ahead or we want him to uh, uh, do that respectfully and do it honorably, knowing that's what we want him to do. So when I push against him, or I uh, uh, get in his space, I want him to respect me for my space, but also I want to respect him. If someone is a slave, they do things because they have to. A servant is someone that does things because they want to. So you have to ask yourself, is my horse my slave or my servant? It's one or the other. And that's what he was put on this earth to do. Um, I see a lot of horses that are just slaves. They, they really don't think about what they're doing. They really don't care about what they're doing. They're just learning that if I'm going to get along with this guy and avoid a little pain, this is what i got to do. Well, the horses that are special and the ones that are treasures or the servants are the ones that people say, oh, Ted, old pumpkin I bought from you, that's the best horse. I'm telling you I love that horse. Yes, sir. Old Cody, he's doing a good job. I love him. You wouldn't believe it the other day. We were somewhere and this and that happened and he just was the only horse in the bunch that didn't act up. Well, the difference between a slave and a servant. The difference between a horse that had his mind conditioned before his body. So in future videos what we're going to talk about is how to prepare that mind. 
and how to prepare that body and to kind of get it all to work in sequence, okay? You got to balance that out. But you got to get into balance too. That if your heart's not right, if your attitude's not right, we're all just wasting our time. Really, we are. You know, we don't really train horses that belong to other people anymore. We just ride our own horses because it's hard to get that balance. You know, I can ride that horse for six months and uh, send him off with somebody that their attitude's not right or their priorities aren't right. They've wasted their money. That horse is sometimes so much smarter. <laughs> He's got it all figured out. He knows how to get out of work. He knows how to get around the system. They're masters at it. So, your attitude as far as how you approach your horse, how you're around your horse, how you tack your horse, how you untack and mount, dismount, how you allow him to rest when he's tired, that has so much to do with it. And i got to tell you, 20% of this is riding. 80% of it's everything else. You know, we're sitting here today, it's 16 below zero today where we live. Well, we're cleaning stalls and riding horses and doing videos and things. So much more to it than climbing up on one's back. And if you approach it in a way that that's all you want to do is climb on one's back and go between here and there, you got the wrong approach. It, uh, you got to do this in a way that you see to all his needs and you have to do everything appropriately. From in the wash rack, clipping his ears, to getting on and off the trailer, to how we handle open and closing gates, how we go to the woods, how we, uh, how we behave around other horses. Um, so, as we move forward, and um, we uh, uh, start now to work on some more technical things, uh, I felt that it was a waste of time for all of us unless we had this conversation that uh, I'm not trying to preach to you, I'm just trying to help you. And I'm trying to help you not have to work so hard at living. Okay? That some people work too hard at living. They work too hard at this. It's not that hard to work. But you have to be in balance. You've got to have your attitude right. You've got to have your heart right. And have the right priorities. And if we can get that all straightened out, it doesn't happen overnight. Trust me. Uh, but if we can get that all worked out, that's the first step. Then we can get something done. We've got to have that worked out first. So, with that all said, um, once again, I, I want to invite you to my website, windyhillfarm.net. And I also want to invite you to and encourage you, if you would like to have some private Skype coaching, you can notify me at uh, thehandyhorseman at gmail.com and we can arrange for private Skype coaching and we can sit down and lay out the pieces of the puzzle for you and we can try to get things put together and I will devote myself to helping you get this all worked out and uh, I don't think you know anybody that has had as much experience as I have at it. I've helped a lot of folks get this all worked out and uh, I'm happy to help out and I'm very humbled and very, very grateful for the opportunity to be able to help folks out that have a passion for this. So don't hesitate to contact us and subscribe to our channel and follow us. And uh, we'll do what we can to help out. Thank you.